Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, madre, maldito, cinco. What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. So imagine, close your eyes and imagine the so-called favorite Call of Duty map with the funnest Call of Duty game. If Modern Warfare 2 had Nuketown, I would not like Modern Warfare 2. Predator missile! Ah! Let me repeat. If Modern Warfare 2... What? <laughs> I didn't even hear... Listen. I did not hear that shot. If Modern Warfare 2 had Nuketown, I think I would have hated this game. Especially with the noob tubes and the exploding cars and all of the stun grenades and stuff like that. Since this server is special, they did give us a grenade, but they didn't give us any stun grenades. So that keeps the lobbies calm. I'm doing the quote fingers. It keeps the lobbies calm and less chaotic. I think Call of Duty Black Ops 2 should have implemented that. Because they seen how Black Ops 1 was just crazy with Nuketown when you know when you start, boom, you're just stunned, you can't walk, and then you get grenaded. Like everybody is like in the same boat. In Black Ops 2, I think they gave you like a little timer. Like, you can't throw your grenade yet. Like some shit like that. And then, but you still could throw stuns, and I think you could throw like maybe C4, or nah, maybe it wasn't C4. Maybe it was just the uh, what's that stun grenade that blows up equipment? Maybe it was one of those that you could throw and just fuck discombobulate everybody. They'd be all fucked up. I think it would have been a good match with Modern Warfare 2 and Nuketown without like grenades or stuns like if Nuketown had no grenades no stuns it'd probably be a solid nice fun map it's not as bad as kill house i think rust was even better than Nuketown like better to play than Nuketown for some reason Nuketown just was so annoying to me that map kill house i don't i don't know how people even play that map that's like one of the most played maps on this modern warfare 2 and I, I don't i don't get it i don't get how people just want to spawn shoot die spawn get two kills die spawn die spawn die spawn shoot die spawn get two kills die spawn die spawn die spawn shoot die spawn get two kills die spawn die spawn like how is that fun like really like i do not understand it and you can't say everybody's a good player. Like the good players, they do all right. You know, they get like their their streaks and shit. But it's a lot of bad players and they all love it. Oh, this guy's good. Oh, he's killing us. Like, what are you guys thinking when you're getting destroyed by a good player? And I'm trying to get this guy back and then somebody kills him. And I'm like, fuck. But I promise the next gameplay will be some Black Ops 4. I will get some gameplay, I will play, I will have fun, and hold me to this, guys. My next Black Ops 4 video will be positive. All positive things coming from my mouth. I'm not gonna say anything negative. Maybe if something crazy happened during the game, which most likely it will. And look at this guy right here, man. I thought I killed him right there. But maybe if something crazy in the game happens, I might point out that, you know, that was crazy and I don't know how that happened. But like during the commentary, it's gonna be all positive. So this is gonna be the positive challenge in Black Ops 4 for my next commentary. <laughs>
as you can see i'm rocking the old school ak look at the dirty the dirty wood grain this isn't the the native modern warfare 2 ak this is the old school it's basically the same gun though it just got a different skin and i'm about to go get this guy right here i kill him and then watch this punched him in his motherfucking head and he dropped money and somebody commented on my last commentary and said that I like this game because it's my first Call of Duty. It's not my first Call of Duty. It's my favorite Call of Duty. It's the one I played the most because I liked it. I played COD 4. I played COD 2. I played COD 3. I played COD 1, but like probably like once, you know, I, I didn't really like those old games. And remember, Arya Stark is the Jive Turkey of Winterfell. I'm out.